Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going over Shivana, the new dragon champion. So she is 4 mana for a 3 4 attack. Give me plus 1 plus 1 this round. And level up, I've seen dragon allies deal 12 plus damage. So, first, if we're talking about the plus 1 plus 1 on the 4 mana 3 4 body, a, f a 4 mana 4 5, which is what she has on the attack, is pretty okay. Um. It's not the best thing we've seen, and we've seen um, four mana three fives, which have been pretty good in the past, so she definitely has quite a bit of potential in that area, but the fact that she can heal health each time, so say she attacks, and your opponent attacks, you block with her, then you attack with her, she heals her health back. Even if it's not permanent stats, it could actually, in certain matchups, make more of a difference for her to be able to heal rather than to uh, have those permanent stats, which is pretty unique. And then, when she levels up, once you've dealt plus 12 damage with dragons, that's not super hard to do. We've seen a lot of 5 power, 6 power dragons, and they're going you're going to attack with them, then you're going to block with them, and that just can mean a level up pretty quickly. When she levels up, she becomes a 4-5 with fury, and attack, give me plus 2, plus 2 this round, and create an attack, a fleeting, sorry, strafing strike in hand. Now, let's talk about Strafing Strike real quick. It's a 3 mana fast speed. An ally and enemy strike each other. Then if the dra if the ally is a dragon, heal it too. So, single combat, but better for dragons. And it's not just a token made with Shivana. It actually is a real card. So, the Strafing Strike is pretty interesting. It is another single combat for Demacia, which is something we haven't really seen before. And something that, for 3 mana, could actually make a difference for certain decks. Uh, it's definitely going to be really powerful on the leveled up Shivana. Being able to generate a single combat each attack is going to be huge. Like, that is insane. It's like, you can kill their thing in a mid-range mirror. That's going to be super powerful. In an aggro mirror, that just ends the game for them. And in a control mirror, it actually gives you a lot of value. Being able to kill their things with just free cards. It's just very powerful in every situation. And the plus two, plus two is also very nice. Um, healing her for two, getting her two extra attack is just... And the two health on the attack means she might not actually take damage from the opponent's unit. Just a very strong effect. Her uh, champion spell is a Shivana's Confront. It's burst speed, grants an ally challenger. Three mana for a permanent challenger unit is pretty okay. If you go to Shivana, that could actually make a pretty big difference. But I can't think of any units besides things with regen that you'd want to give challenger. The things that come to mind are like Trundle. But Trundle already has a pseudo challenger with his uh, with the ice pillars, so that doesn't really seem to work. Um, and other than that, I can't really think of any big regen units that really want the challenger. And anything else doesn't really want challenger. It either already has it, or you can just, you want a challenger in a big way with something like, um, I don't know, uh, that one sheriff card from Bilgewater can give all your enemies vulnerable. And that would work just as well. Probably better than this if you want to close out the game. And this doesn't really feel like it's going to get a lot of value uh, in most situations. Um so I just think it's a, a it's an okay card. I mean, you probably not running it in the deck. Having it as a Shivana's uh spell when Shivana has a sort of a pseudo regen, being able to heal her with her attack actually could matter quite a bit. Uh we are talked about strafing strike, so now let's talk about Kadrigan the Infernal, a nine mana nine six. When I'm summoned, grant other dragon allies everywhere plus two plus two. So the problem with this card is that it's a nine mana dragon. That has a effect that get, makes your dragons who are already pretty big, bigger. You don't really need your dragons to be bigger. You need to be hitting in for extra damage. You'd rather this say grant dragons everywhere uh, overwhelm. Uh, that would just be so much better, actually. That would be better in like every situation. Just being able to um, punch in that extra damage just matters way more than extra stats. Um, in most cases and being nine mana compared to a soul which is just one extra mana for a dragon of better stats a better ability and just really powerful makes Kadrigan just seem like a really bad card and if it's not in dragons it's definitely not being played so bad card i guess and next we have eclipse dragon a seven mana seven five 
Fury, Daybreak. The next dragon you this dragon or celestial unit you play costs two less. And Nightfall, create a random dragon follower and celestial follower in hand. So the idea is, you're if you're playing this as your first card in a turn, you probably don't need extra cards. You just want to be pumping out more cards. And if you have, if you play for the Nightfall, you've already played a card or two, and then you just need more card draw. I like the design on that. Um, the ability to make a dragon cost two less uh, into the next turn, it doesn't last until the end of the round, means you can play a soul a turn two turns early. And if you're playing the immobilize dragon ramp deck, you can immobilize, then you can play the dragon follower, the two mana one one that makes dragons cost one less. And then you can play this card turn five and get a turn six a soul. Now that seems pretty powerful, um, but that is the perfect hand in a perfect situation. I wouldn't count on that too often. I feel like Eclipse Dragon is pretty good in that deck. Um, oh, this is Targon, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Um, the Nightfall is also pretty okay if it's like the last card in your hand. You just definitely want that card draw. Um, overall, it's nothing too unique. Uh, it fits the slot of the Dragon deck pretty well, but at that turn, you just want to be probably attacking with Shivana and getting in that dragon damage. And I don't know if Clips Dragon is worth it being a 7-drop, or even just a 6-drop in certain cases in that deck, where you'd rather just have something that can close out the game. And last, we have Dragon Guard Lookout. A 6-mana 3-5. When I'm summoned, if you behold a dragon, rally. This is pretty good. It fills, fills the need of the dragon deck, which is to pump out extra damage. And when you have challengers, when you have extra strafing strikes, when you can create multiple strafing strikes in a turn... Dragon Guard Lookout is just going to be able to help you punch in that extra damage with an extra attack. Now the problem, 3-5 body, you really don't want to have a 3-5 body in play. You'd rather have basically any other dragon. And for 6 mana for a 3-5 is pretty weak, so you're never really going to focus on the body. If you do compare the body to stats, it's a 4 mana 3-4, 3-5 with 2 mana for the rally. Now... Because that's how we're looking at the card, we just really want the rally, not the body. You'd rather just be playing Relentless Pursuit, and you're in the same region, Demacia. Relentless Pursuit is spell mana, three mana, which means you can play something else in the turn. Rally without the bulky or extra packaging that the body is that we don't really want. And when you're trying to be as mana as mana efficient and as um, just as uh, board efficient as possible you really don't want to be playing dragon lookout you want to be playing relentless pursuit now there are certain cases like with the new hate bear we got that can make spells cost one more or in a meta where spells or skills can be countered a lot with cards like deny you'd rather have dragon guard lookout which is just rallies immediately there's there's no room for your opponent to counter that because it's not a skill that might matter a little bit and you might play Dragon Look Guard Lookout for that one purpose. But otherwise, I just can't see it being played. And that, guys, is the end of the spoiler video. I hope you enjoyed. I definitely like Shivana. Pretty great dragon. I think that the single combats she makes are just, like, perfect for the dragon synergy. I mean, it's going to be very hard to beat. Um, and with that, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.